Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at DevOps School. Okay, so the first question is what is Datadog? And the simple way if you say Datadog is uh, a monitoring service. Yeah, it's a service. It's not a tool actually, uh, it's a service. So the moment we say it's a service, uh, you know that it's, uh, it's in, it should be on a cloud or somewhere. It should be already running, just like a Gmail is a service. And right. uh, WhatsApp is a service. So you install the app and you start using it. So same way, um, Datadog is also, uh, you cannot set up in your, uh, in your environment. It is a service you have to use it. You have to, there's a web service. You have to log into the website and then you have to use it. So that's a data dog. Now is for what? <clears throat> so data dog has been developed for <clears throat> monitoring purpose. Primarily, it was designed for uh, uh, monitoring the infrastructure, which can be a cloud or you know uh, platform as a service, software as a service, or whatever it is. But now uh, Datadog is offering uh, observability functionality. Now, what is your observability? That means here, uh, what, uh, what I'm trying to say. So observability means uh, not only the infrastructure monitoring, but also, but also log monitoring. And also APM monitoring. Also synthetic monitoring. UX monitoring, security monitoring. So basically, uh, in today's world, uh, we want to have one single tool or platform for every sort of every sort of monitoring uh, requirement, uh, starting from the infra, cloud, uh, APM, log, synthetic, UX, security, dashboard, alerting, matrices. So Datadog is on the same line actually. So nowadays every tools are being used in this industry, like a Datadog, Elastic, Splunk, App Dynamics, or many more a new relic and all. So they are all wants to uh, develop a services or uh, tools platform for every sort of monitoring. And Datadog is on the same line. So yes, you can say Datadog is a observability platform or services and uh, which you can implement for any projects for entire need of your moment make sense yeah yeah so yeah the data docs to be cloud infrastructure monitoring services with the dashboard alerting visualization and metrics uh this company was listed in forbes cloud 100 and was ranked in the top 10 fastest growing company in the north america uh, as per the Deloitte 2016 Fast Finder list. Uh, it was founded in 2010 by Olivier and Alexis. So there's a little bit of introduction about the data dog. Okay. Now, next next question is why data dog? So it's very simple. Uh, we have a data dog. We use the data dog because of simple reason. Data dog provide functionality what we need in an easy to use manner that would be difficult to build and maintain ourselves simple so we need a functionality just now i said we not want to set up uh, observability and which which i i stated we have to have infrastructure monitoring log monitoring if you monitoring synthetic monitoring these are the things we need it and datadog provides it uh, but an easy to use manner compared to other vendors. And if you try to create certain something similar functionality platform and all, 
it's very difficult to maintain because your your primary goal is to develop your product for your organization and uh, you know run the product for your organization not to build that kind of functionality right 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 so data, data is doing that so yes functionality what are the functionality you need for any observability tool so you need a very powerful agent what you need a integrations uh, with hundreds of hundreds of tooling systems and platform and services for example integration with aws that means i i want the data from the aws or azure or google cloud or vmware or kubernetes or docker or windows or linux or apache tomcat or mysql for the sake of discussions it can be 500 plus tools so i need these kind of functionality i need a powerful agent which should gather the matrix. I need the integrations from using that we can gather the matrix. I need all the events to be gathered. I need a dashboard, I need an alert. So these are the functionality Datadog have and the same functionality we need also. So it's like a correlations. Datadog has this functionality. We also need this functionality which is again easy to use. So here, if you look at the Datadog agent or all the integration, even dashboard and that, it's easy to use. And again, it's very hard to get. So yes, simple. These are the reason we are using Datadog. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what Datadog can do? So here, uh, I've been using one keyword, which is called observability and um, observability and I Hey viewers, our Master in DevOps engineering program can help you to hone the skills necessary to succeed in high level DevOps positions. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now and earn certification that show you are keeping pace with today's technical roles and requirements. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now skip that discussion because uh, you know today is the first class i didn't want it to you know, start with some some heavy theoretical things but i have stated like you know observability means everything right melt melt we call it melt remember this keyword m e l t m for matrix e for events t for traces l for logs uh, sorry, T for uh, L for logs and T for traces. So metrics will come from the <clears throat> integrations and platform. Events will come from the platform and any framework, whatever it is. Logs will come from many various ways. I'll discuss a little bit later, like application log, system log, network log, security log, this log, that log. And traces like a performance management APM, right? So yeah. everything you have to gather it. Everything you have to gather. So the question is, data dog is support is supporting all this thing? Yes. So you can see that here. Uh, you want to know your application is up or not. That's coming under the availability. Data dog supports that. Do you want to know how is this your application is performing? Is it slow? Datadog will help you with that. Do you want to know that uh, the application is broken? Is it reliable or not? Datadog will help you to find out. Same goes with the network availability, network performance, reliability, and server availability, server performance, server reliability. So in short, Datadog will help you now for everything. Okay, so that's a capability. So. If it you brings ask, so, all the tools, right? It brings all the, <laughs> almost everything yeah. into one uh, umbrella. Yes, yes. So if okay. someone will ask you, hey, uh, tell me why you are using Datadog compared to Neuralink or Splunk or, or App Dynamics or Elastic, they will ask you this question. Right. So, 
you uh, I, I feel that you should also like uh, in this today's world it's very difficult to compare where we are changing the tools every two years right okay. so it's it's just like a waste of time doing the comparison doing a poc creating a you know some spending six months of time frame for just to check that whether this tool is good or not right. it's very difficult because uh, by the time you start implementing you start implementing you will see the buzz of another tool which is happening so what should we doing for that so we should be finding out what is our requirement for now and for up to the two years so what you want you want only infrastructure and you don't have a budget go for nagios if you want okay. infrastructure plus log and you don't have a budget so go for nagios plus prometheus plus elastic search if you want a very good alerting reporting dashboarding plus you have a budget plus security also you want to add it then go for datadog or new relic or something like that all mm-hmm. platform is reliable all platforms are good so let's say if some of the functionality if you say this month okay this feature is not available next month definitely you will find it because yeah. most of the services is a saas based software software as a service so they keep adding the features is like that like there uh, you know it was never happening like a, like a early yeah so it's a very very competitive world so yes datadog is is compared to others is ease of using but i would like to tell you here one thing when it comes for infrastructure monitoring and cloud monitoring datadog is very powerful why because datadog initially the first the design which it brought it datadog came for the infrastructure and uh, cloud service monitor so that's the reason it's a powerful hmm. but when you say neuralic neuralic is very very powerful not in other area but apm why why apm they are very good because neuralic is designed initially for apm work on it but later on they incorporated many observability related functionality so same thing with the splunk also splunk is very very powerful you cannot no one can beat splunk in terms of log monitoring but they are still they are now in everything so yes every company every product every platform has a very one very strong point just now i said data log is good in infra neuralic is in apm splunk is in log but they do all provide end to end monitoring solution for observability okay makes sense yeah 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 there are many open source solutions are also available uh, like a prometheus like nagios for infra monitoring for logs you have elastic search is open so elastic as a company they offer the uh, they offer the enterprise solutions also but elastic search is a open search okay again is from the same company so yeah we have to know a little bit of all this stuff right so you can get this stuff so what to do so we will start with the data dog workflow what to do in this simple as you can see install the agent in any of these boxes you have to install the integration integration means apache http uh to tomcat kubernetes docker all this stuff and start creating the exploring the dashboard with the matrices reports graphs alerts in data dog alerts we call it a monitor so whenever i say monitors is equal to alerts that's all it's very simple okay so now data dog high level architecture now data dog backend and data dog agent so data dog is backend the one which we are talking about is a software as a service uh, saas based 
solution though you don't have any control but uh, this is developed using d3 apache uh, cassandra kafka postgres and stuff like that the agent which we have a control of it is basically developed the older version in python but the latest for hey viewers try to get into devsecops and all for our devsecops certified professional programs and earn the certification that shows you are fit for these technical roles and requirements contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box book your seats for the upcoming batches now then in golang nowadays no. most of the tool is being developed in golang so yeah. agent which gather the metrics and forward to the data cloud is written in golang let me tell you this is a open source so the data dog agent the one i'm talking about it's again open source okay. so that means open source means you can modify the code to add a more metrics and some customizations also you can do that so much make sense yeah okay so which are the features available so i think this slide is this is let little outdated maybe 6 month or 8 months or something because every day the every month i see that lots of website that change the you know stuff right. over there because the software is service but yeah you can get a highlight so 4 plus 400 plus built in integrations you have see when you are in observability and when someone say hey integration means what so integration means uh, the tools or framework or platform the metrics what they generate that will be easy to capture it using the data dog that's called integration easy to use for example see agent has a coding to detect the windows matrices or linux matrices or mac matrices for the sake of discussion right agent is we install in windows it's i mean operating system only right so agent we install in operating system and agent is designed for gathering system matrices are you agreeing with me yeah but but we have a hundreds of uh, hundreds of different different tools also we want the matrices from those tools also for example i just i was saying you want the matrices from the active directory you want the matrices from database you want to matrices from web server app server you want to matrices from the cloud you want to matrices from the chat messaging systems so basically there are hundreds of tools are available agent will not gather the matrix from that uh, tools because it cannot be others if agent is designed to gather all the matrix just imagine see this adding a code to gather the matrices for all the tools and platform into the agent it is very easy but you know what agent will become a very heavy in in that case right right and it will consume lots of cpu and lots of ram but the another thing is you don't want to use that you don't want to monitor all 400 tools maybe you have only 10 tools correct no right right so that is where the integrations will come into the picture so integration will help you to gather the metrics from the different tools those which you want not everything so here you have a flexibility whichever the data you want enable it through the integration i will teach you those stuff so 500 built in integrations are available in a data dog which you can use uh, you can see this some of this integrations from where the data dog can fetch the data are uh, okay so yes uh, uh, that uh, data dog will help you to have a real time interactive dashboards where you can correlate the matrices traces logs and more for collaborative analysis data dog also provides unified log management where you can monitor the logs matrices and request traces in one platform for full stack visibility that's called observability 
next generation apm so monitor troubleshoot and optimize end to end application performance network performance monitoring visualize traffic flow in cloud native environment synthetic monitoring end to end visibility across the stack in a single platform real user monitoring end to end visibility into the users that may prompt the text alertings and apis so these are the features which we have with the data so every day we will pick up one session and then we'll pump it so for example one day we'll take infra then log apm uh, network synthetic ram and multi and finally okay. apis so this way we will proceed for make okay. sense hey viewers are you looking for formal training on sre practices take our sre program this course will teach you how to successfully implement site reliability engineering in the modern day 24 into 7 services kick start your sre training today contact info is mentioned in the video side bars and in the description box book your seats for the upcoming batches now yeah yeah okay so how do we get started this so simple it's a software as a service that's a website created on hq.com and this uh, anyone can create an account and it's for free for, for 14 days and you can start it simple okay so now yeah. after that let's say some of the stuff will come for the pricing or this pricing and all you can do little bit of research offline because it's a publicly available information and just you have okay. to see that it will make sense only if you understand all part of it you see that uh, integrations out of box dashboard metric retention period support infrastructure right. log apm network synthetic rv so in the pro version you have everything and in a free only you have a infrastructure plus integrations okay right. so only this one in the free uh, five nodes are uh, up to the five nodes infra is free not unlimited infra only five nodes. now you don't have to worry about it because we will go for pro and 14 days trial period you can create as many accounts you want it for the learning purpose and again okay. uh, that will not charge you anything no credit card information and so forth okay. okay yeah so in detail the pricings are available though i will not discuss right now because it's just a waste okay so now you have to get started the only one thing we have to keep a note of it there is only two data center regions available supported by data dog one is in usa and another one is europe not in asia and australia and other regions also so that means they will ask you hey where do you want to store all the data either you go for the us or the europe so the first list you select right yeah. you have to decide that okay okay and then after that you have to select what are the integrations you want to make it and then install the agent that's all now if you look at this agent you have available for all the operating systems like a mac windows debian ubuntu amazon centos fedora and blah 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 and it's very easy to use i'll show you the demo in just a few minutes okay okay so now we have understood that how do we go about it correct yeah okay so before that let's spend little bit of time also on to understand the agent the one which you are going to install okay i'll show you the demo in a 10 minute but before that let's understand this okay so here data dog agent dog stash d stash d and matrices so what exactly these are so little bit of context we need to understand i hope you remember that the data dog agent is a open source solution right yeah so how come it become open source let's know understand the history about it. so data dog agent primarily you have a three types of agent 
one is uh, so uh, three types of uh, uh, extension you can make it so agent is lightweight software installed on your host now it reports metrics and events from your host to datadog via three ways okay hmm. integrations dog strategy and the api that means once you install the agent in the host it can be windows or linux it send the data it collect the data through three ways okay hmm. through three ways through integration through the stashd doc stashd and through api okay? okay so here you can see that this is the agent architecture so agent you have collector doc stashd and forwarder you must remember that doc stash d is getting the information using the utp port number 8125 okay mm -hmm. now collector and doc stash d send the data using the tcp port number 17123 to the forwarder and forwarder send that matrix to the data doc sas through http okay okay so data dog agent you have a three component collector dog stashd and forward how they communicate and all you can understand from this image now these are the platform supported now the question you should have is like what is a dog stashd so you know one thing before dog stashd the one which you have to know it which is a very much a core part of uh data dog agent if you want to understand the doc stash d you need to understand the stash d stash d so do you have any any information about the stash c no yeah so let me tell you in a simple word most of the monitoring which is been done for gathering most of the agent which has been designed and uh, for the monitoring agent for the monitoring for gathering the matrices from the system okay that is used that is using the stash d okay so stash d basically is just a daemon running in the host machine and developed and released by a company called itc for what purpose to aggregate and summarize application matrices okay aggregate and summarize application matrices which stash the applications are to be instrumented by developer using language specific client library these libraries will then communicate with the stash the daemon using its bad uh, using its dead simple protocol and the daemon will generate aggregates metrics relay them to virtually any graphing or monitoring back so basically this is just a daemon is a tool actually yeah developed yeah. by it is but for what reason for aggregating and summarizing the application matrices and take it it from the input and relay them to the backend backend means data dog right but second line uh, did you understand that with stash d application are to be instrumented by developer using language specific client library did you understand this yeah so basically it's some kind of a service that runs and uh, they provide libraries which the developers can then use yeah so yeah. let's understand in this way Uh, let's say there is a java applications i'm saying see think about it here my keyword carefully i want the matrices from the windows so if i want the matrices from the windows everyone knows about it what matrices you want from windows primarily cpu ram network disk correct right 
if i want the matrices from the wind uh, linux then again everyone knows about it it's like a global thing right so that is where you know what collector is being used so collector has been designed for getting the system data very simple okay different kind of collector right win ram collector for ram cpu disks network and all but if you want the matrices from the tools external tools like apache or database or tomcat or this that then we need to have integrations right. integrations again is nothing but a collector form okay yeah but 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 think about it but what about if you want the matrices thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today